I can't believe I just tried to hold in my big smile. Like, no, I have to let it out, okay? I'm feeling... I'm feeling... And confident in my embracing of emotions and experiences and my ability to learn and transmute any energies um, that may need a little nourishment, a little nurturing. And before I get into this video, I want to... Well, it's just, yeah, I just want to share a moment of honoring the breath because that's what I've been doing for myself, um, putting in a more conscious effort to mindfully breathe, honor my breath, hold space for that breath work, you know, but even integrating that just through my day to day because that's when I feel like I need it most, you know what I'm saying? where that's how I'm triggered and just going about it and about in the world, you know, all this rushy, rushy, sometimes, um, just taking a moment to slow down by anchoring the breath in the now, so, I invite you wherever you are, as I fix my camera setup, <laughs> I invite you wherever you are, if you want to go listening to this, just meet yourself where you can, but if you're more still, I invite you to sit up right stand upright, lay down upright, <laughs> and <sighs> observe your body, any tension, the depth of your breath, just notice it, not really trying to change anything at all, really, listen to the sounds, any vibrations that you can pick up on. Receive that. I'm not trying to change. You know, I'm not trying to not hear it. You know, taking the noise. It's a soundtrack of life. <laughs> and you put your right hand on your heart if that calls to you. And your left hand on your stomach, your diaphragm. Just let out all the air. You exhale through your mouth. Right? Bring your stomach a little bit. We're gonna just take a deep breath in through the nostrils. Inflate your stomach. Bring up your smile, your spine. Hold it at the top of your lungs. And release your mouth. Feel how that feels. It's one breath alone. Let's just leave it at one breath. It's the difference in that. So, I just really wanted to document this moment. You know, I usually would have just kept this as a audio journal type thing. You know, but I'm like, you know, I think I just want to share it a little. You know, oh, in my cup, I have me some ginger, um, ginger, cinnamon stick, and cloves. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to share it. I was going to say, <laughs> I set the intention for each herb. The cloves was for grounding. The ginger was for cleansing, cleansing my aura. And the love, I mean, excuse me, the cinnamon was for love. Being open to receiving love and just filling my vessel with love, and it's a reminder of that love. So, very intentional sip upon. <laughs> um, this was a that. And so, I had. Oh, what was I about to say? <laughs> okay, there we go. I had an experience yesterday. I linked up with a friend, and they invited a friend, which is great, great vibrations. And. You know, in in through the exchanges, right? Um, I think one of my favorite things in life are the silent moments, the standstills, the quiet time in between having a conversation, holding space for people, being received by people, it being simultaneously happening, which is you know always what is happening, it is simultaneously happening. And just in any interaction in life, just the silent moments. But particularly, I just want to highlight, you know, my favorite 
being in conversations with people, you know, because I think that some type of narrative, some type of notion, very limited notion, um, I feel collectively, you know, that those silent moments are awkward moments, <laughs> and you know, it's a, it's a moment you might feel more uncomfortable. Because we were taught that silence, like everything needs to be taken up space in action and in verbal communication or in some type of labor, some type of, you know, outwardly expression. But I've been loving these moments even more for myself because I, I acknowledge, you know, and ask myself, why do I, you know, Maybe, I can't even put a time on it. I don't know when. But at some part of my journey, a little earlier on, <laughs> I was just like, why do I feel uncomfortable when it's just a silent moment, when it's just a pause, you know? Everything has a pause. Everything has an end. It's a period somewhere, you know? And that's just so real. You know what I'm saying? And silence is space as well. There's so much in silence. There's so much, you know, especially when you have a deep, intimate, vulnerable conversation with someone. And, you know, it's enlightening conversations. We, we sparring, you know, just beautifully with the love. And the, you know what I'm saying? And a lot of things, you know, that space of silence is to really receive and what you're, what you're taking in. You know, I, I speak for myself, you know. I need a moment, somebody sharing with me. I'm listening, to, I'm really listening to that. Like, I really be listening to people, and I don't always have the words exactly in that moment to respond back to them. I'm still processing and receiving what you're saying. Like, say, you as soon as you finish what you're saying, I need to pause and breathe for a moment. Like, mm. you know, because the way that my mom works, I'm trans, I'm, I'm feeling how you feeling, you know, sympathizing, empathizing. You know, this wisdom and what you're sharing, you know, I'm also just very observant of um, just tones, the sounds in my environment, the how I'm feeling about what I'm being saying, what's resonating, what isn't resonating, the, the alchemy, the transmutation that takes place within the exchanges, you know, just, and I honor that in the standstill, the, the moment of silence and, you know, I used to get uncomfortable in those moments thinking like, oh, I need to say something so that this other person feels heard. Or, you know, um, so that, you know, I used to think, okay, I don't want to take too long and just in my silence and not say anything. But, and I'm still getting even more comfortable because I had a moment, you know, and after you know they was listening to me they started to share their life experience and afterwards you know i was just more silent i didn't have so much to say i was still really listening and receiving like i was sharing and i felt like i had to for a moment say something because the way that they responded to me after i finished sharing they had the words <laughs> you know what i'm saying they had a response they had you know they had and that had me feel heard and received however it's not all the time that I had the capacity nor not all the times where the space that I had to offer in that moment it are through verbal words you know sometimes the space that I had to offer and sometimes the space that people need is just a moment of silence and uh, many people feel heard by you know even you know even being held in that silence, you know, just, no, I hear what you're saying, you know, and I, some, I, I used to feel like me saying, oh, you know, I hear you, I feel you, wasn't enough because <laughs> for them, to me, it was enough because I'm generally hearing and feeling you, like, I'm feeling you, <laughs> and I'll be wanting the people to know that I'm feeling you. And I know my presence in this, my vibration alone. But just in case they didn't catch that, let me, let me just let them know. But even just let them know, just through them three words, I feel you. I'm like, nah, the words ain't even doing it. Because, like, gross. It's like, I really feel you. Like, 
I'm here with you and I, I appreciate and cherish you sharing this moment with me, your life, your whatever it is that's being exchanged, your presence. I'm I'm receiving you fully. And you know, I'm I just am no longer in that space trying to overthink what is the best way to express that and hold space for people and just intuitively being guided in that space, you know. And so yesterday's moment, you know, I had asked him a question I was curious about, but I felt like I had to Although I was curious about it and it was genuine, you know, in me wanting to know, I felt like I kind of was trying to pull something out um, quicker than it. I, I I would naturally just process to ask them that question to kind of fill in the space and have them like, you know, I'm listening, I'm, I'm curious in what you're saying, please keep going, you know. But the truth was in that moment. I felt like sitting in more silence, you know, but I didn't want them to feel. And it's just so interesting because people probably don't even be feeling like this. Like, oh, I didn't know what them to feel like I wasn't listening. Or I didn't know what them to feel like I don't care. Or I'm just not interested. Or, you know, you know, oh, it's just about me. Because you have space for me. You have something to say. And, you know, I don't right now. But it doesn't mean that I'm not here with you. You just have space for me. It just looked differently. The love, love looks differently. You know, uh, maybe they needed that moment of silence after being listened. I don't know. But I, I can't sit here and make up in my mind what was um, needed or not. You know, it's just that's just my world that um, I'm working on um, changing the, the script on to where I'm 100% like, nah, like I don't got nothing to say right now. <laughs> you know, I'm, I feel like I'm like I'm 90%, 90% there. You know what I'm saying? It's like, nah, I don't have the answers right now, Sway. <laughs> I need to, I need to meditate with that. Give me a moment, okay? You know, and you know, because I, I really, I feel like I, I listen with my heart naturally. But the moments where I'm not is when, as I'm listening, I'm in my mind thinking about, oh, well, how am I about to respond to this? Listening to respond, and sometimes it's not even. And, and I feel like for some people, collectively, listening to respond, not because it's selfish and, you know, I just want to hear myself and be heard. And I don't think people be think be thinking like that. I feel like sometimes it's just, you know, I, I want to take up space also in this moment so that it's a constant exchange and fluid. There's no moment of silence. It's like, again, we were taught, like, you know, it's awkward, awkward, it's silence. What? Like, what do you mean awkward and silence? Like, what is the awkward and silence? That's, that should be an oxymoron. What is that? That's, that's, it's, it's natural, a part of life. Not everything is always in motion like that. The motion is in the stillness, <laughs> truly. There's so much happening that we can't see. You don't know what's happening in someone's body, in someone's mind. And that silence, you know, can be a moment where you know, I, I find myself, okay, let me take a deeper breath. Let me ground myself, check in with myself, you know, maybe check in with the other person. You know, those silent moments to acknowledge a very human nature that we would experience, like, no, I need to, there's other things happening, you know, not just through our words, you know, I need to verbally, I need to, um, you know, physically and, and, and just vibrationally check in with myself and just acknowledge the other sensations um and the other sounds and the other um clarity the enlightening the enlightenment is happening within my eye my body and just the silent moments allow space for that and it isn't awkward it's it's to be embraced it's to it's to it's to it's just life <laughs> it is a part of this my art, you know and Even like right now, you know, I feel like, especially on camera, you know, I used to feel even more heavily about this on camera where it's just like, oh, I have to keep talking. You know, I can't, because if I don't keep talking in the topic, on the topic, or, you know, in presenting something, then I'll lose the intention, attention of the viewer. And when I was really sitting with how heavy this narrative was affecting the quality of my videos, the naturalness of my videos, just my essence of myself, 
I'm like, hell no. Nah. We about to change the script on that because I don't talk like that. I need a moment to breathe, check in with myself, to think about what I'm saying. It isn't this constant, continuous stream of blah, 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 blah. No, even the fire has needs time to, you know, receive the oxygen to continue growing that flame. You know what I'm saying? It needs a moment to just, when you light a candle, for example, when you light a candle, for example, it's not always, it's like it may flicker sometimes, but sometimes a fire, that flame looks so still, you know, but still illuminating lights, still illuminating, you know, and that light could be, you know, uh, in comparison to the conversation, could be, you know, you know, just, I just want to leave it at that. Still illuminating light. And take it how you want to and whatever analogy, whatever metaphor. And just how that, you know, because the stillness the, is still this light and love it always exuding. Even without saying nothing. And so I used to believe, like, you know, in my videos, you know, oh, I can't be so silent for a long time. Because honestly, be so, I be sometimes needing to take a, a minute pause, a, a deeper breath. <laughs> And I decided to continue to work on our narrative until it's just, boop, completely shift into a new paradigm where it's like, no, like, <laughs> still trying to hold the attentions of others. Those who are meant to receive me will receive me, you know what I'm saying? And also may appreciate the way that I appreciate a moment of silence to process what I'm saying because what I'm saying, I'm not just saying anything. I know, you know, a lot of things what I'm be saying is profound. It needs to be digested, let things breathe. As we like to say, when we listen to a fire track, let things breathe. Hold on, sit with that. Feel the sensations of how that made you feel. You know what I'm saying? And that silence helps with your message even being across. Your essence, your presence even being more received. You know what I'm saying? Mm. In that breath, I'm receiving more of myself. I'm like, yeah. Cheers to me. <laughs> facts. She's speaking facts. <laughs> I be needed the moment to receive myself, to receive how I'm feeling the sensations that's happening in the conversation. You know? And huh. You know, I've also, it's like kind of a side note, but it ties hand in hand. And just the authenticity of showing up in spaces and, and communicating verbally, not verbally. How I've been appreciating more of my chaos and how I express and the fire, the fluctuation. It's art. It's truly art. I feel like when I'm sharing and holding space, it's like, a, you know, it's like abstract on a canvas. You know, abstract paint on the canvas. You know, you may have a shape, a familiar shape that we can all connect with right that you know someone can easily relate with with me but then in my mind in my essence in my spirit i'm like no there's also a stream of thought over there let me splatter the paint over there boom 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 i gotta make art over there because that's what my spirit is calling me to do and it's just it's just a work of art and how i've been um acknowledging how it is that i naturally you know communicate you know and how it isn't of the norm you know it isn't and it's like the norm, the, the standard, the box, really, what it is, because we all have our, the way, our, our way, each and every one of our way of how we show up may look chaotic, but that's because we're comparing it to the standard and the norm of, you know, the, in the indoctrination that they try to place us in, you know, which of course is for, for them to have more control <laughs> and more predict, you know, predictability as to how you show up in a space. Therefore, they feel more safe and sound and be able to feel like they know you. But I love the chaos. I love when, you know, I'm listening to someone and, you know, they get a little louder one moment, they get a little lower, they get a little more in, a little more out, you know, they go slide off tangent. And then even when they be like, I'm just, I'm here with it all. I'm like, yeah, I can keep up. Let's get into it. You know what I'm saying? Because chaos really has this order and it's just this respect that I have for you know, the mind isn't just point A to point B. That's some Eurocentric worldview right there. That's some um, left brain, very intellectual. That's not natural. 
It's not leaving room for spirit, for the emotions, for the sensations, for the other vibrations that we intrinsically feel as we're communicating. You know what I'm saying? And I just love when, you know, and, and for a moment, someone would be like, you know, I, oh, excuse me, I'm trying to, you know, but the point was, you know, the point I'm trying to make, and I say all of that to say, now you say all of that to say what you say. You know what I'm saying? All of that needed to be said. You didn't say all of that to make one point. Everything was the point. You know what I'm saying? Everything was received. Everything was necessary, needed. Everything had value. Everything needed to be um, in this transaction right now. You know, everything needed to to have a space to be held upon. To, wait, to have to have a space to be held for. You know, and. I, this was good to just affirm this and speak on this because in standing firm in this truth, in this new paradigm, shifting in the space of like, show up how you show up, express how you need to express it, about it, whatever, because I know I'll attract those who also appreciate how it is that I show up, the fire, you know, the, 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 the calm, you know, and how I am, it's all, you know, and, and They'll be able to keep up and respect and cherish and acknowledge all of me the way that I'm able to keep up, cherish, and acknowledge all of them. I'm here for, for the show up as you are. Be silent. If you need a moment, listen. <laughs> I will really have a link up with someone and they come to me on their way to the transmute. They, something happened and they just don't want to say nothing. That's fine. Let us sit and embrace this. I'm with you. I don't need to speak to feel received, to feel, am I saying, no, I want to go, I want to go another way to say that. We don't need to speak to hold space. We don't need to verbally explain and, and, and you know, to, to feel like something's happening here. Something is happening here always, and the ethers is talking, our spirits is dancing in this moment of silence. It is not awkward. It, we're still tingling, you know what I'm saying? We're still in flow, fluid motion, and we allow more of that fluid emotion when we fully honor that, you know, and not see it as, oh, and not try to rush ourselves and get anxious about oh, how can I hurry up and take up space and say something just for the make for the sake of filling it in. No. We're more in fluid motion where we just naturally allow what needs space to be spaced. This tea is amazing. I've also been, even though I've been using coconut sugar, I feel like I've been craving more sugar, just sweetness. So I'm grateful to have made this tea. Um, even though with my tea, usually I don't really add sugar. But lately, I know it's an emotional thing too, you know. But I've been, um, you know, not putting sugar in, you know, or less sugar, you know, in um, my drinks or, you know, whatever. Um, that calls for sugar and just getting my my tongue and my taste buds back to uh, uh, basis, I'm gonna say the foundation, so I'm not craving it and I'm not, um, um, <laughs> I start to think about like, <laughs> it's like, <laughs> you see every moments like that, it's like, I start to think about like, you know, I don't want this tangent to go on too long and then, you know, I get a little anxious and then now I'm more stuttering and, you know, less likely to hurry up, finish the way that I even want to, the way that the ego wants to, because it's like, well, this wasn't the topic. It's all the topic. I'm jacking it right now. It's all a part of life. But I just wanted to share, I had a real life experience about how I was just talking. I'm like, hold on, I don't want to go too deep into the tangent. You know, it just, I know it's so random, but life is random. You know, and that was just a real life how I'm still transmuting that narrative where you, I'm going to continue talking about my tea now. Yes, I'm working to put less sugar into, I've been putting more sugar in my drinks and I haven't for like, since, you know, <laughs> I 
for a very long time. I just never liked tea. I never liked sugar in my tea. But lately I have been, and I know that's an emotional thing. But I went back into not putting sugar in my tea to kind of just, you know, um, uh, ground my taste buds just to get it back into a space where, you know, it's, it's more... When I'm eating again, I can, you know, taste more of it. I'm not craving certain things. So I'm more, you know, present and just my body physically and energetically is more receiving of um you know what i'm actually experiencing through the sensation and pleasure of food and it's also like i said an emotional thing that i'm working on you know shadow work as i'm saying shadow work shadow work intentional you know self-awareness we don't need sugar and i tea. i actually really love just the taste of the cinnamon itself anyways so now <laughs> i'm glad i seen that through okay I love how it was just a real life exactly on topic of what I'm seeing. You see, even the side tangents, you know, <laughs> I love, you know, sharing that story and then it connects back. But everything can connect back because everything is connected. The side tangents are, are branching off from the topic. It's the reason this came to me, you know, and when we not shame the randomness, the chaos, we would see that and, and, and really receive that more really give space for that and see like oh shit like it's all connected and then when you allow yourself to take up space in each corner each tangent you know it's like oh wow i actually know what i'm doing <laughs> my spirit knows what i'm doing and this feels good to kind of just you know also be curious about this other thought and then tie it in together like you know that feels good and you just feel more confident in your expression like and and have more of that ability to and that skill to yeah I could tie it in yeah you know I could tie it in and this was good so yeah I just <laughs> I love how much um I love this I just love how you know I speak about just this moment you know because I looked at the time I'm like oh 27 minutes in you know, it wasn't my intentions to, I didn't have, and it's so interesting because I don't even be going into my videos with the intentions of, you know, oh, you know, how long is this about to be? I just need to express the topic that I want to express. And I looked at it, and then when I look at the time, I'm like, oh, this is too long. Like, no. I needed to say what I need to say, how I needed to say it. And so I'm transmuting in that moment, like, you know, any, and it's, it's becoming so much more quieter and quieter. It's just like, who's really about to watch this all the way through almost 30 minutes? Somebody's mama, somebody, somebody's son, <laughs> somebody's daughter, somebody's auntie. And even if not, you know, it feels good to share what I share. Even if it's one person in the corner of this earth fully received what I'm saying and or something, you know, even gotta be full, it could be 50%. They needed that 50% you know, for their, you know, 100%, you know, and that's, that's okay, you know, but I needed to, I feel like serve my divine, serve my God, serve the most high through allowing myself to be a conduit, a vessel of uh, this divine light and love that I'm sharing this wisdom and my experience and I'm here for it. I feel so good. I'm excited to post this because I'm not about to edit this either. I am not. I ain't even gonna rewatch it. I'm just gonna because if I rewatch it, you know, those thoughts are gonna come in like, oh my gosh, maybe I should edit this. And cut it. No, oh maybe I look this and no, this is me. Look at me. This is me. This is me. And this isn't even me, me. But this is me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Cause you only get so much through the, the video, through the camera. <laughs> I love this. I'm gonna do more of this. I'm speaking of right now, I need to do more of this. Um, allow myself to fully express, like, just, because I just, yeah. <laughs> I feel like I can end it here. <laughs> I feel like I can end it here. Um, yeah, I appreciate you tuning in. I appreciate you listening and holding space for me or the space for yourself um and yeah thank you and uh subscribe <laughs> subscribe
guys make a comment share any comments any of your own experiences um in, in relation to whatever it is that you um that i shared and whatever it is that you received from this video you know and i'll be reading that and you know um like it you know all of the jazz all of the jazz that you know youtubers will say at the end <laughs> Oh, check out my website, dialogueofabutterfly.com. I made these earrings. And yeah, thank you for tuning in. I feel good isn't even a word. Like, good don't even be doing it no more. I'm about to up my adjective game because I feel, I feel divine. There we go. I feel divine. I feel present. I feel whole, fulfilled by allowing myself to take up space in the ways that is in honor of my essence. I feel from that grounded, accepted, I feel accepted, I feel <sighs> nourished, feel grateful. So, there we go. Peace. <laughs>